You've tried the medicated shampoos. You've tried the home remedies. You've probably even tried slathering your scalp in coconut oil, hoping to moisturize those embarrassing white flakes away. And yet, the dandruff always comes back. It's frustrating. It feels like a never-ending battle. You hide it under hats. You avoid wearing dark-colored shirts. And you're constantly worried that people are noticing. But what if I told you this endless cycle isn't your fault? What if the reason nothing has worked permanently is because you've been fighting the wrong enemy? And what if the most popular natural cure that everyone recommends online is actually the fuel that's making your dandruff worse? In this video, we're not just going to list more remedies. We're going to expose the three costly mistakes that are keeping you trapped. By the end of this, you won't just know how to treat dandruff, you'll understand how to stop causing it. And mistake number one will change everything you thought you knew. All right, before we expose the mistakes, we need to properly identify the villain of our story. Most people think dandruff is just dry skin. This is the first myth we need to bust. Dandruff is not about dryness. In fact, it's often the opposite. Living on almost every adult scalp is a tiny yeast-like fungus called Malassezia globosa. Now, this little guy is normally harmless. He just hangs out. The problem starts when he gets too much of his favorite food, the natural oils on your scalp, also known as sebum. When this fungus feasts on your scalp oil, it produces a byproduct called oleic acid. For about 50% of the population, maybe you, your scalp is sensitive to this acid. This irritation signals your brain to go into panic mode. Your body tries to defend itself by dramatically speeding up the shedding of skin cells. Normally, this process takes a month, but with this irritation, it happens in just a few days. These skin cells don't have time to shed properly, so they clump together with oil creating those flakes we call dandruff. So, let's be crystal clear. Dandruff is not dry skin. It's an inflammatory reaction to a fungus that is overfed and out of control. Now that you know the enemy's favorite food is oil, can you guess what the single most costly mistake in treating dandruff is? The number one most costly mistake people make is treating dandruff like it's dry skin. How many times have you heard someone say, my scalp is flaky, it must be dry, I should put some oil on it? This sounds logical, but based on the science we just discussed, it is the worst thing you can do. Applying oils like coconut oil, olive oil, or castor oil directly to a dandruff-prone scalp is like pouring gasoline on a fire. You are literally serving the Molassesia fungus an all-you-can-eat buffet. You give it more food, it produces more irritating oleic acid, your scalp gets more inflamed, and you get, you guessed it, more dandruff. This is why your dandruff might feel a little better for a day, as the flakes are hidden by the oil, but then it comes roaring back even worse. The cost of this mistake is huge. You waste money on oils that don't work, you waste time dealing with a worsening condition, and you suffer the emotional cost of constant frustration. So, rule number one, starve the fungus. Stop oiling your scalp. I'm curious, have you ever fallen for this myth? Let me know in the comments below. You are definitely not alone on this one. Okay, so we've stopped feeding the enemy, Fantastic. But what about the fungus that's already there having a party? That's where medicated shampoos come in and where 90% of people make the second costly mistake. All right, you've gone to the pharmacy and you bought a good medicated anti-dandruff shampoo, maybe one with an active ingredient like ketoconazole, which is a powerful antifungal that doctors often recommend. You feel hopeful. You get in the shower, you lather it up, scrub for about 30 seconds while you wash your face, and then you rinse it all out. You've just wasted all of your money. This is what I call the splash and dash, and it's mistake number two. These medicated shampoos are not like your regular cosmetic shampoos. The active ingredients, the ketoconazole, the selenium sulfide, zinc pyrithione, they are medicines for your scalp. And like any medicine, they need time to work. 
to effectively kill the fungus and calm the inflammation, that medicated lather needs to sit on your scalp for at least five full minutes. Think about it. You wouldn't take a painkiller and spit it out after 10 seconds, expecting it to cure your headache. It's the same principle. My pro tip, get in the shower, apply the medicated shampoo first, lather it into your scalp thoroughly, then leave it there while you wash the rest of your body, brush your teeth, contemplate life, whatever takes five minutes, then you rinse it out. The cost of this mistake is literal. You are rinsing millions of dollars worth of powerful, effective ingredients down the drain every year before they've had a chance to do their job. So, rule number two, attack the fungus, give your shampoo time to work. Okay, so you've stopped feeding the fungus and now you're attacking it correctly with a good shampoo for a full five minutes. You're set, right? So why does it still seem to come back a few months later? This leads us to the final, most soul-crushing mistake, the one that keeps you trapped in an endless cycle of flakes. Mistake number three is a mindset problem. It's believing that dandruff has a one-time, permanent cure. Here's the hard truth. For those of us with sensitive scalps, dandruff is a chronic condition. It's like having allergies or sensitive skin. It's not something you cure once and forget about. It's something you learn to manage. The fungus will always be there. Your scalp will likely always be sensitive to it. The mistake is using a medicated shampoo for a few weeks, seeing the flakes disappear, and then immediately going back to your old regular shampoo, thinking the problem is solved forever. Of course it's going to come back. You've stopped managing the condition. The cost here is your sanity. It's the emotional drain of getting your hopes up only to have them dashed again and again. So, what's the expert level strategy? First, you need to be consistent. Use the medicated shampoo two to three times a week for at least a full month to get the situation fully under control. Then, you move into maintenance mode. This is key. Use your medicated shampoo once a week or once every two weeks forever just to keep the fungus levels in check. And here's a pro-level tip that dermatologists recommend. Your scalp can get used to one type of active ingredient. To prevent this, try alternating between two different anti-dandruff shampoos with different active ingredients, maybe one with ketoconazole and another with zinc pyrithion. So, rule number three, maintain control. Stop searching for a cure and start managing the condition. Okay. That was a lot of information, but let's boil it all down into a simple, powerful action plan that you can start today. This is your scalp reset. Step one, starve. Immediately stop applying any cosmetic oils directly to your scalp. Check your hair products for heavy oils. You have to cut off the enemy's food supply. Step two, attack. Get a quality medicated shampoo with an ingredient like ketoconazole. And when you use it, leave it on your scalp for a full five minutes every single time. No exceptions. Step three, maintain. After you get the flakes under control, don't stop. Shift to a maintenance schedule using your medicated shampoo once a week to keep the peace. Be consistent. That's it. It's not about finding a magic remedy. It's about having the right strategy. By avoiding these three costly mistakes, you take back control from the fungus and finally put an end to the frustrating cycle of dandruff. Dandruff can seriously impact your confidence, but it doesn't have to control your life. Now you have the knowledge to fight back effectively. If this video helped you understand your scout better, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It truly helps the video reach more people who might be struggling just like you were. And be sure to subscribe for more videos where we break down the science behind everyday health and beauty problems. Do you have any other questions or a success story to share after trying this method? Drop it all in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and here's to a clear, confident, and flake-free future.